Here we're given two similar triangles and asked to find the length of side x. When we have similar triangles, the ratios of corresponding sides are proportional, which means we can find x by setting up a proportion using ratios of corresponding sides. Sometimes when we have overlapping triangles, it's a little more challenging to identify the corresponding sides. Notice how we have this larger triangle, and then we also have this smaller triangle here. Notice how these two triangles are similar due to angle, angle, angle similarity. Notice both triangles share this angle here, then this angle is congruent to this angle due to corresponding angles. Here we have two parallel sides cut by a transversal, and the same thing with these two angles. They're congruent because they're corresponding angles. We're trying to find the length of x. Notice how side x here corresponds to this side here with a length of 28 meters. So to begin setting up the proportion, we would have x is to 28 meters, or just 28, must equal, notice how this ratio compares the length of one side of the large triangle to the small triangle. So this next ratio must also compare the large triangle to the small triangle. Therefore, the length of this side here, which is 55 meters, corresponds to this length here, which is 44 meters. So the second ratio would be 55 meters to 44 meters. Now that we have the proportion, we can cross multiply and solve for x. We would have x times 44 must equal 28 times 55. Well, x times 44 would be 44x equals 28 times 55 is equal to 1,540. And now to solve for x, we divide both sides by 44. So we have x equals 1,540 divided by 44 equals 35. We can see from the diagram, the units would be meters. So the length of side x is 55 meters. I hope you found this helpful.